Welcome to Hello English Teacher. Today let's look at the line by line explanation of the third part of the chapter Should Wizard Hit Mommy from Class 12 English. If you are watching my video for the first time, please subscribe. You can listen to the explanations of chapters from classes 10, 11 and 12 English. And don't forget to press the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload a video. Let's move on to the video now. So in the last part we saw how the mommy did not like the smell, rose smell of her child and so she said that she will be taking him back to the wizard. So let us continue. And she took an umbrella and went back with Roger's skunk and hit that wizard right over the head. So what did she do? She took an umbrella and she also took Roger's skunk along with her and went to the wizard's house. And when the wizard opened the door, what did she do? She just hit the wizard on his head with the umbrella. No, Joe said and put her hand out to touch his lips. So Joe did not like this mommy going and hitting the wizard. So she wanted Jack to keep his mouth shut. So she just put her fingers on his lips. Yet even in her agitation did not quite dare to stop the source of truth. Inspiration came to her. So but she could not want to stop the truth. She could not want to stop him telling the story. And so she became inspired because she said that the mommy had hit the wizard. So she became inspired because her father said that the wizard had hit the mommy on the head. Then the wizard hit her on her head and did not change that little skunk back. And immediately she said she started giving a, her idea of the story. What did she say? She said that the wizard hit the mommy back on her head and did not change the smell of the skunk. No, he said. The wizard said, okay. And Roger's skunk did not smell of roses anymore. So Jack said that no, uh, wizard said okay and he turned it back into a normal skunk. He smelled very bad again. But the little other little um, uh, um, jo Joanne, it's daddy's story. Shall daddy not tell you any more stories? So she wanted to protest the idea of the wizard the mommy hitting the wizard and then she wanted to tell that the other animals would not come back to play with little uh, skunk again but then father did not want to accept her idea and he said her to keep quiet he told her that it was his story and he also asked her that if you continue like this i will not be able to tell you any more stories her broad face looked at him through sifted light astounded so she was very surprised she looked at him because he had ended the story in that manner. This is what happened then Roger. What possible plot line could the story continue with? Skunk and his mommy went home and they had woo woo and it was a choo choo train bringing daddy skunk home from Boston. So both the mother and child went back home and then the train brought back daddy from Boston. And they had lima beans, celery, liver, mashed potatoes and pie oh my for dessert. So they all had a happy meal together. So that was how he wanted to, he ended his story. And when Roger skunk was in bed, mommy skunk came up and hugged him and said he smelled like her little baby skunk again and she loved him very much. And so what happened? The mommy came and hugged her little skunk and told him that he was now an original skunk and he had his natural smell and that she loved him very much. And that's the end of the story. And uh, Jack said that is the end of the story. He finished his storytelling in this way. But daddy, what? Then did the other little animals run away? But Jo had her own doubts. So what did she ask? After the finishing of the story, she asked her father what happened to the other animals? Did they run away? Because they did not like the bad smell that skunk had so she wanted to know if he continued to have his friends no because eventually they got used to the way he was and did not mind it at all and so the father explained to joe that eventually in the end all the animals got used to the smell of skunk and they did not mind it at all and they were playing with roger skunk what's even shilladi in a little while 
in a little while so she, because she said eventually the girl did not understand that and so she is asking what is eventually then he said that it means in a little while that was a stupid mommy it was not he said with a rare emphasis and believed from her expression so joe did not like the what the mommy did because she went and hit the wizard and changed the rose smell into the original skunk smell because she thought that by doing this little roger skunk would not be having any friends to play so that is why she said stupid mommy but then jack did not agree with her and he said no it is not what she did is the right thing and he had a grave uh, serious expression on his face and when he said that what the mummy did was correct little joe thought that he was defending his own mother because as a child he was a very obedient child and he always listened to what his mother said and he always believed that mothers always do the right thing for the kids now i want you to put your big heavy head in the pillow and have a good long nap so he finished telling his story and so he wanted her to go to sleep he adjusted the shade so that not even a crack of day showed and tiptoed to the door in the pretense that she was already asleep so he covered all the window shades so that not even a single light come inside he wanted her to see sleep so and he started moving towards the door believing that he was uh, she was already asleep but when he turned she was crouching up on top of the covers and staring at him but when he turned to look what happened the girl did not sleep she was sitting up on the bed and looking at him what is crouching sitting up bending and sitting hey get under the covers and fall fast asleep bobby is asleep so he was directing her to sleep telling her that see your brother bobby is asleep so you to go to sleep she stood up and bounced gingerly on the springs daddy what so she did not listen to him she started jumping on the bed and then she called daddy and he asked what what's the matter tomorrow i want you to tell me the story that the wizard took the magic wand and hit that mommy so she told her father that tomorrow when you tell me the story you must tell it in such a way that at the end of the story it was the wizard that took the stick and magic wand and hit the mommy on her head because she did not like the idea of mommy changing the smell of her skunk so she said that he must tell a story where the wizard is hitting the mommy her plump arms chopped forcefully right over the head so she showed action with her arms also and she told her father the wizard should hit her right on her head no that's not the story the point is that little skunk loved his mommy more than he loved all the other little animals and she knew what was right and so he tried to justify his story what did he say he said that the little skunk loved his mother more than anybody else he loved her his mother more than he loved other little animals and he also knew that whatever she did was right for him no tomorrow you say he hit that mommy do it so she was very adamant so she was telling her father that no no i don't agree with you tomorrow you must tell a story where the wizard is going to hit the mommy you must tell it in that way so she was forcing her father to end his story in that way for the next day so down below what happened claire had spread the newspapers and opened the paint can wearing an old shirt of his on top of her maternity smock that was stroking the chair rail with a dipped brush so claire his wife was already getting ready to paint downstairs so she spread newspapers on that she had kept the paint can and she was also wearing an old shirt of jack on top of a maternity smock what is maternity smock smock is a kind of a frock that ladies wear when they are pregnant so she was wearing that on top of that she was wearing a shirt of jack and she was already starting to paint a chair with the brush above him footsteps vibrated and he called joan shall i come up there and spank you so as he was approaching his wife he could hear the footsteps of jo that means she had not gone to sleep and she was just moving about so he called out her name and said shall i come and spank you shall i come and give you a beating the footsteps hesitated so when he said that the girl stopped moving about she kicked her legs up and sat down on the bed with a great heave and complaint of springs as she had done hundreds of times before 
except that this time she did not laugh. So, it was how she behaved every time after the story was over. If she was not happy, she would sit up and do a lot of uh, expressions with her face and this time she was not even laughing because she did not like the ending of the story. Say daddy, well, we will see. Now, let, now at least have a rest, stay on bed, you are a good girl. So, she was trying to force her daddy only to tell it with an ending that she wanted. That is, she wanted the mommy to hit the wizard on the head, not that mommy hitting the wizard. So, he said, we'll see. He just told her he wanted to pacify her and he wanted her to go to bed. So, he just told her to stay on bed and told her that she was a good girl. He was trying to coax her to make her sleep. So, it was a tedious job for him to make Joanne, his daughter, sleep. He closed the door and went downstairs. That was a long story, Claire said. So, Claire asked him, so you had to tell a long story. The poor kid, he answered with utter weariness, watched his wife labor. So, with utter weariness means he was thoroughly tired by telling this story to his daughter. And he also watched his wife labor means try to do all the work. The woodwork, a cage of moldings and rails and baseboards all around them. So, they had so many things, so many furniture thrown around and they had to do some painting and all that. All the railings was half old tan and half new ivory and he fell caught in an ugly middle position and though he was well felt his wife's presence in the cage with him, he did not want to speak with her, work with her, touch her, anything. So, he was sitting in between all these things and he felt like as if he was caught in a ugly middle position because he was not able to convince his daughter by telling the story and at the same time he was not able to help his wife because she was already pregnant and she was doing so much of labor she was doing so much of hard work here since he was not able to help his wife as well he felt caught in an ugly middle position and he was not in a mind to do anything at all he was not able to speak or talk to her or even touch her so, we see how Jack was trying to justify the mother. As a small child, he himself was an obedient child. He used to listen to whatever his mother say and he believed that mothers or the elders or the parents know what is the best for the children. So, he is trying to force this thought into his daughter as well. Whereas his daughter behaved in a very different manner. She was inquisitive, she was curious and she started asking a lot of questions which put him into a lot of strain and struggle. So, I hope you like today's video. For more interesting videos, do subscribe to Hello English Teacher, like, share, give your valuable comments below and thank you for watching.